Chapter 20 Ash had the same issue with the barrier in the car park at the Campanile head office, but this time he wasn't about to park a distance away. It felt like there was an urgency. He slapped on the hazard lights, pulled as far to the left as he possibly could, and jumped out. The same secretary was having what could easily have been the same conversation. He bypassed her and pressed the button to call the left. There was little point in trying to get an appointment or waiting for her to call up. If White was involved in something, then the element of surprise would help him nip that in the bud. Pierre White might have felt he had the upper hand the last time they spoke. That wouldn't be the case this time. Ash was ready. The lift doors lurched open. They didn't feel as slick as they did earlier that day. He looked over his shoulder. The receptionist hadn't skipped a beat in her conversation. His car indicators were still flashing away intermittently. The sky was turning a mid-late afternoon shade of deep blue, preparing for the evening sunset and darkness. The spots of rain that had accompanied his drive over from Washington to Gateshead had dissipated. The wind blew the trees over the road, almost doubling them over. But that was the way of the northeast, Ash told himself. The place he called home was always a few moments away from cold. The proximity to the North Sea made sure of that. He noticed the lift doors lurching back to closed, so put his hand and foot in the door to stop it. For a moment, Ash felt like it wasn't going to stop, but half a second later the doors jarred to a halt and then reversed their direction. He stepped inside. As he pressed the button for the floor where he had met Pierre White earlier, Ash felt a stickiness on his finger. It was the kind of texture you might expect getting in a lift in a busy shopping centre in the school holidays. Ash drew his finger back towards his face to get a good look. Blood. He felt down by his side, wiping the blood away on his trousers. He was so transfixed by the sight of blood that he almost missed the lift door's opening on the floor he had selected. Drawn by a distant light in the corner of the floor, Ash walked slowly over. Step by step, he strode, quietly, hoping not to disturb whoever was at that light. Most of the floor was open plan, but this corner must have been somewhere that needed privacy. Even though it was mainly open plan, as in it wasn't a separate office space, there were screens set up. Two screens, one parallel to the outside wall of the building and one at right angles to the first. He had to walk around the right of the makeshift room to see what was behind the screens. They sat from floor to ceiling, affixed by metal feet at the bottom and some kind of improvised fabric connection at the top. Ash stepped around the corner, small strides. His first stride into the enclosed area was joined by pushing heavily into something around ankle level. Ash hit the deck and banged his head. He looked up groggily from his position on the floor. Fuck, he murmured. 